Hey everyone, this is Peter from Canto Tech. And for this feature, I wanted to take a little sidestep from the normal reviews that we do here in our blog. Now, throughout the years, I work, I've been working with a lot of gadgets ranging from computers to accessories, and I've been tinkering with these tech toys for quite some time now. I've also gone through several computers which I built by myself for my personal use for both work and play. Now, personally though, I haven't been able to play a lot of games due to my work and also taking care of my three kids. But I still try to find some time to at least try all of these new games on my personal computer. Okay, so this computer on my right isn't my personal computer, but I will link a video to my previous build for it. So my personal computer was something I built just when the global pandemic arrived and the component prices were still relatively cheaper. I built it with a three-year-old CPU, an entry-level motherboard, and a second-hand GTX 1080 GPU. While it can keep up with most of my daily tasks, uh, gaming has been somewhat of an issue. And I have been having some trouble uh, loading modern games with it. So I decided to try something new. I tried to borrow the latest CPU from my friends from Intel, and they gave me this. Okay, so this isn't the latest CPU that they have, but this is what they have for me. This is an Intel Core i7-10700K CPU which is a generation behind as of 2021. So anyway, Intel gave this to me and I wanted to test whether it's still a good CPU that I can also possibly purchase. So what the heck, I'll still try it, right? And as an added bonus, Intel even gave me a brand new RTX 3070 to test as well. So this is RTX 3070. So again, I was a bit hesitant at first though because uh, I do know that the 10700K is not exactly new. <laughs> It's been around for almost a year now, and the 11th gen series is already available in the market. But again, 11th gen CPUs are also pretty hard to come by nowadays, especially in the Philippines. So the ones I probably would buy probably would not be available in the market. However, these kinds of CPUs are still relatively easier to find. So I gave it a shot and built this PC. Now the Comet Lake S CPUs or the 10th gen CPUs are pretty special. And last year, they came at a time when competition was incredibly important for Intel. There's a lot of features that Intel debuted with this CPU when it came out, such as support for up to 5.3 GHz, up to 10 cores and 20 threads, and more overclocking potential compared to the previous generations. They also introduced Turbo Max 3.0, which utilizes its two best performing cores to focus on improving performance without increasing CPU voltage. So again, the CPU I used for this build is the Intel Core i7-10700K, an 8-core 16-thread processor with a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost clock of 5.0 GHz, and it can run up to 5.1 GHz on Turbo Max 3.0, again utilizing just those two cores. It has 16 MB of total cache with a TDP of 125 watts. Now, it has almost the same gaming performance as its slightly superior brother, the Core i9-10900K. However, in terms of value for money, the Core i7-10700K is definitely better and a lot cheaper. Compared to its previous generation, which is the Core i9-9900K, the Core i7-10700K is just overall better in, in terms of base and boost clocks. Now with the Core i7-10700K CPU, it would be recommended to get a relatively higher-end motherboard to pair with it. Now the CPU fits on any LGA1200 socket and it's highly recommended to use with at least a Z490 chipset motherboard. To fully maximize its performance, I've been using or I use an ASRock Z490 Pro 4 motherboard which is fully loaded with all of the ports I need and 100% compatible with this 10th gen Intel CPU. Generally speaking, the VRM layouts on most Z490 motherboards should be enough to support the 10700K at stock settings or even if you want to do some overclocking. Now, one thing to note about the Core i7-10700K as a K series or as an unlocked processor is that it doesn't include the stock cooler which is why the box is so small. Uh, so this is deliberate on the side of Intel and users of this probably won't mind at all. Because at this performance level, it just makes more sense to upgrade to an aftermarket or third-party air or water cooler, such as this uh, NZXT X53, which I have on my PC. Now, just to be clear, you don't need to do uh, water cooling for the CPU. An aftermarket air cooler should be fine if you're not planning to do any serious overclocking. This processor also supports DDR4-2933 MHz, um, DRAM. Now the DRAM I'm using is a 32GB uh, 8x4 kit from Kingston HyperX Predator. Um, so it should run fine and the XMP profile is already set at 3200MHz. But I can actually configure it to run at 3600MHz and it should, you know, it still should run fine with the CPU. So here's my overall setup.
Okay, so let's run a few tests on this rig and see how it performs on some of the latest games that I have with me. So let's go check it out. Standing. Meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the number. Must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? My sister, she only got me.
Okay, now at the end of the day, or during 2021 rather, the question is, given that there's already an Intel 11th Gen series available on the market, plus some hefty competition from the other brand, will I still use the CPU for my own PC this 2021? Because this isn't my PC, by the way. Definitely the Core i7-10700K is well equipped to keep up with the competition. This test build itself can support the latest games and can run even the most demanding AAA games with ease. Especially when running most games at 1080p, which is still the sweet spot as of now, you know, it will still be a very, very enjoyable experience. And take note, I haven't even tried overclocking this thing. So now the question is, how long will this power last for future games? Now this one is a, a harder question to answer because even though my head is shaped like a crystal ball, uh, I'm not a fortune teller. But generally speaking, CPUs have much longer lifespans compared to GPUs and have a much lower load when playing AAA games, depending on the title. So my personal three-year-old mid-range level CPU can still play 1080p titles with the right GPU, and with a powerful CPU like the Intel Core i7-10700K, it won't be a surprise if it can still run um, higher-end games for at least a few more years to come. If it doesn't fit the bill, you know, there's always an option to overclock the GPU or the CPU and the 10700K is perfect if you want that kind of gaming. So if you have the CPU with you right now or something close to it, then it won't make much sense to upgrade to an 11th gen CPU as of this moment. But if you're looking to build a gaming machine right now, then the Core i7-10700K is definitely a fantastic option, especially when paired with an RTX series GPU, faster DRAM or the latest SSDs. So there's a lot of times in consumer tech when the latest isn't necessarily the best choice. And this CPU definitely proves it. So if you want to know more details about our tests and the final build recommendations for this CPU, please visit our site kantotech.ph where we will be featuring this CPU in a very lengthy article. That's it for now. And if you like this feature, do like our uh, Facebook page and our YouTube page at kantotech.ph. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.